the Monaco Grand Prix again. Well done. Great try. What the hell happened on that start? Unbelievable. Fantastic guys. It's not bad for another two driver. Cheers. Going to retirement. Coming in, man. Vomiting. Coming in, man. Vomiting. Understood. Bump, bump, bump. We need to maintain the gap. Maintain the gap. Maintain the gap. You're right, man. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Build the Rebel RB7. Today I bring you issue 37 where we'll get the first parts for our differential. In the magazine today we have 1986, the second title for Alain Prost. Okay, we've got the points table for that championship. A bit here on Keke Rosberg. Okay, adjusting ground clearance. Alright, we've got a good picture here of our Rebel RB7. Okay, where the body's ghosted, so we can see exactly where the engine and everything fits in comparison with our model. Um, and also, it gives you a good idea where all the sponsors on the car go. Okay, so have a good look at that. And, yeah. Okay, a bit more here on setup variations and our parts for this week's issue. Okay, so we've got the diff case, we've got the ball bearing, we've got a shim, we've got differential bevel, we've got an O-ring... And we've got a pin and the differential shaft. Okay, so these are our instructions today. Alright, and let's get stuck into it. Okay, so first up, what you want to do, you want to go out and buy yourself um, a pair of pointy nose pliers for this. Um, you will need a set of these for this job, um, as it's very fiddly. Okay, now first up, you're going to grab... You're going to grab your differential case and the ball bearing. Okay, and you're going to place a ball bearing over the end of the case like that okay it doesn't clip all the way it just sits nice and flush now you want to grab your differential shaft and drop it in there okay so it sits like so now you want to grab your o-ring and you want to drop it into that groove in there so we'll drop that in there now you're going to need your pointy nose pliers to push it down into the groove around the differential shaft okay next up you're going to grab the shim and place it to over the differential shaft pushing it down with the pliers now if you haven't noticed already there is a um, little sort of hole that goes through um, the cylinder shaft much like what were on the knuckle arms with the front end okay and now basically what you got to do you got to grab this cylinder or this pin and you got to drop it in there on an angle okay and slide it through the shaft um, if your o-ring or shim is placed incorrectly it will not go through the hole um, and that's it for this week's issue of Build the Rebel RB7. Now finally, grab your differential bevel and drop it in so the pin sits in that little groove there. Now we're not supposed to do it just yet, but I'll put that in just so the pin doesn't slide out of the hole and it will hold it all together. So that's the first part of our differential. Can you see my front nose there? Hey. Issue 28, we have um, the bevel shaft, bevel gears, um, differential case cap, and a pack of grease. So, you guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Build the Rebel RB7. I do apologize for the delay of this. I have had some technical problems with my iMovie software. Um, also, too, if you guys haven't heard, I am running a um, Facebook channel. So, look for the link in the description for all your up-to-date rebel news okay thanks guys bye bye fantastic mark you won the monaco grand prix again well done great try what the hell happened on that start unbelievable fantastic guys it's not bad for another two drivers going to retirement Bump, bump, bump. We need to maintain the gap. Maintain the gap. Maintain the gap, you're not right.